So after getting Nobit on Samsung Galaxy G7, I am going to show you a new customizable ROM with which you can do lots of tips and tricks. So without any further ado, let's get started. Everybody yeah, sing that shit. So guys, the installation procedure is the same. Just reboot your device to recovery mode. And now what you have to do is first create a backup by just ticking all and you can just skip MD5 and enable compression and just right to backup. It will help you to say, restore your device properly. From here you can easily restore it. And now just go to your wipe, advanced wipe, just type system data cache, tell with cache and just swipe to wipe and now go back and now go to install and here you will find the revolution os 4.5 that is the official for g7 2015 by zonic i have provided the links below so here let me just zoomed in so now you will be easily able to see it so now just tap on it and now just swipe to confirm flash so whenever you will swipe you will see this by Zunik. So now just hit next. And now here you will see all the change logs from the version 1 to version 4.5. So now just go next. And from here you can select the ROM light edition or the full edition if you want. Next. And you can from here select the logo. Here you can easily select the DPI like 280 or 320 whatever you want. Now just hit next now you can unselect the apps if you don't want need to install so here we have all the apps so just hit next and from here you can just select the a5 stock camera or the a3 camera if you want just hit next and from here you can select the root access which you want like the super su the magisk or if you want the device to be not rooted so just hit this and now next and from here you can select the edge panel if you want the asset adaptable so if you click on next and the revolution OS here so just click on this install button and from here you can easily able to install the revolution OS in your G7 2015 so guys talking about the phone whenever you try to unlock your screen just like left or right you will access your music controller just try to play on music and you will get this here so in the recent panels you can easily access your memory management like 1 GB is used out of 1.5 GB and from here whenever you try to clean it is automatically refreshed. So the UI look like this as of the all custom rooms which I have uploaded. So you can go and check that out and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you like this video. So here you can see that no any other application is installed. It is fully rebooted and I have installed some applications like n do CPUs that in speed test to just test this ROM and uh, here in going settings let me first show you that it is the revolution ROM and it is currently running on the software Android 7.0 new it and if you don't know that I have already uploaded a video so you can go and check it out here that is the first Nougat ROM for Samsung Galaxy G7 so it is currently running on the Android security patch 1 June so I am not using any type of kernel or any and the main thing which I want to tell you that the VOLT is also supported I am currently not using GeoSim but when, if you can just turn it on you can easily access VOLT feature in any GeoSim so you don't, don't need to use the geo for your voice and let me show you the n 2 scores and the n 2 scores which we are getting is almost around 40,000 without using any type of custom kernel so here you can see that we are getting almost around 39,850 which is really good for Samsung Galaxy G7. So let me just quickly do a speed test. So here you can see that the downloading speed which we are getting is almost around 40 Mbps which is really good and the downloading and uploading speed almost the same. So let me show you it in Kbps. 
so here you can see that almost 5 mb per second speed we are getting in downloading and 5.6 in uploading it is really quite good if i compare it with my other devices so here it is the camera so here you can see that you can easily able to take pictures quickly so here the interface look like this and talking about the main feature of this phone is this the the developer added the grx touch face so that you can easily customize your device as you want here we have some rotation animation colors blue settings folders lots of features customizations which you can easily which will help you to customize your android device or what you can also use is where here we have the revolution room control it is really fully customizable here you can easily control your ambient display status bar and the network traffic which i am getting right now here the battery icons virtual modes are also available custom logo ui if you want lock screen rotations and various lots of features even on the multitasking extension if you want if you want to record here are lots of features available so it is the best and the first i think the customization room available for samsung galaxy j7 2015 variant you will get the download link below on the xg thread so you can go and must check that out and make sure you like this video if you really enjoying it and for more other custom rooms you can just subscribe to my youtube channel so let's explore the settings so the settings if you can see it is almost the same but when you try to go in this advanced features you will get the screen filter control which is a new feature so you can just turn your screen filter on from here and you can also set the auto start applications from here directly and the full screen mode from here so no other feature available here and we also have the this window animation scale lower to 0.25x so you can get the quick animations from here directly but i'm setting it to 0.5 you can set it on your own so as as talking about the battery and performance i have used this for almost around 1 to 1.5 hours in on time and i'm really getting quite good battery backup so i charged my device for almost around 60% and i'm getting almost around 1 hour and 6 minutes which is okay okay not that much good as we compare to other devices sorry other custom rooms but it will later become better and better day by day just charge your device from 0 to 100 so here just save power by just removing the app applications which are running in the background so our interface look like this from here you can easily turn on the multi user feature which is available in the settings and the touch sensitivity option while you are using the gloves you can use this feature so that's a quick review with the revolution room version 4.5 and or 1.0 for samsung galaxy j7 2015 variant i hope you really enjoyed this video and if you did a like will be appreciated and for more videos like this you can subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below as always i'll see you in the next video thank you